up, nerds? This is a really quick and dirty tutorial on changing your Atlas server's islands to what islands you want them to be. There isn't a lot of info out there on how to do this, and it took me a couple of days of perusing forums to figure it out. But now that I've got a good grasp on the basics, I'm going to help you get in there and make your map the best map it can be. First thing you're going to want to do is open up your web browser and go to GitHub. Link will be in the description. You'll come to this page, and you're just going to want to clone or download and then download zip this file. Okay, this is the map editor. So I've already done that. Once you have it downloaded, you just take this, pull it onto your desktop, and now you have the map editor. So go ahead and open that up, and you'll see in projects here, you've got a server grid, which is just for one server. If you've got a two by two, meaning a four server grid, then this is the one you'll choose. And if you have 16 servers, you'll use this one. So depending on what size of server you've rented, uh, whether it be single or a quad or a 16, you'll choose the proper JSON file. So we're gonna start the server grid editor and you'll be greeted with this menu. So you're gonna load a project. I believe you'll start here. Maybe you'll be in projects already, I'm not sure. Just go to the projects folder if not and you wanna click the grid that corresponds to whatever you've rented. So for example, we have, a, we have a two by two, so I would just click that, open it up, and it's gonna give you the basic, default, whatever, none of this matters except for this free port here. This is the free port, this is where you start. So it's A1, A2, B1, B2, that's the grid number. Now there's a couple things to note here. In your help bar, you'll see controls and they have all the options on how you can do things like, for example, rotate, rotate an island with right click, move an island with left click, edit the details of something with control click. All these options are in there. So what you're gonna wanna do is leave your free port alone. Unless you wanna put new islands in there, I wouldn't suggest it though, because I haven't gone in and edited the free ports to make any other islands a free port. So just leave the free port alone. You can add islands to the grid all you want, but leave the four Northwest, Southeast free port islands alone. These are all your islands over here. You have four of each type. Usually sometimes there's only one. I don't know why there's different ones. I haven't gone into figuring that out yet, but you just pick the one you want drag it in, drop it on, and that's it. You now have a new island on your server. So you just, that's all you wanna do. You, you wanna take these islands, start dragging them in, put them wherever the hell you want, rotate them however you want, and make your map look however you want it to look. Now to add a discovery zone, since these are our four Freeport islands, we don't want these to be discovery zones. Anything outside of that though, shift, hold shift and left click and drag, you've just created a new discovery zone. Now beyond this, I don't know how to change the name yet. You'll have to figure that out on your own. This is just how to add islands. Now down here at the bottom are some things. This is show island names. This is show discovery zone info. Show ship paths, which we'll get to in a second. And show lines for the grid lines and server info. This is server info that you can control click to edit. So you want to name the grid something new like Freeport and change its temperature to whatever you want. Let's make it polar so it's impossible for new players to get anywhere. Uh, then you're just going to save your changes. Now its name is Freeport and the template is polar, meaning it's going to be cold as hell there. These are all tropical. You can change them. Control click to change. That's it. Now you can click P and it will give you the ship of the damned waypoints. So if you want them to circle an island, just drag them where you want them. I want them to circle this island up here on top. And then you can rotate with the right mouse button to kind of make these lines curve how you want them to. And that's it. Now I've got three ship the dams that are going to go around this island. That's their route. Okay. And you can click shift and delete to delete them. So once you've set up all your islands, how you want them, you're just going to click export. Wait, you're not going to click export. 
actually what you're going to do is you're going to remove all these words and stuff off your map so people don't see them on their maps. So you're going to go down here to the bottom and you're going to click show island names. You don't want those. You don't want the discovery zones. Basically anything you see on your map, you want to click it to check it off so it only shows you the islands. Then you're going to click export, local export all, and you're going to click a folder. And it doesn't matter what folder, I'll click server grid editor master. It's going to export all those files, give you a little prompt. After you've saved, let's save, click save, you do it, I don't need to, this is just a tutorial. Then in your server grid editor folder, you will notice a new folder called export. Inside that folder, you will see these files. If you made a two by two, like we just did for the tutorial, this is the most important file in there, server grid two by two dot JSON. You can open that if it's a text document. If not, use a text document to open it. If you have Notepad++, that is even better, use that. Um, so this is the important information that you're going to need, and you're going to need to change some of this. Up here at the top, world friendly name. This is going to be the name of your server. So change it to whatever the name of your server is going to show up in the list as. World Atlas password. This is your server password to get in. Change that to whatever you want it to be. Then you're going to come down until you see this IP address. This is your first grid, grid A1. You're going to want to go into Nitrado or whatever your host is and find out what your server IP is and put it in this spot. This might be your full IP address that you see. You're going to want to put in just the IP part, not this little double dot semicolon thing, whatever the hell that is. You're going to want to take that last portion, copy it and put it into your port. Put it into your game port as well. And that's it for this part. Now I'm going to come down to the second grid. And it'll be right here. Name it again if you want. It's you're just going to put the port in there again. Game port in there, IP address in there as well. Whatever your IP address is for the part of the, whatever your IP address is for A2, you're going to place into this one. You're going to place your ports here again. And then you're going to find out what your server IP is for B1. And you're going to come down the list. You're going to find the next part right here. It's always under this machine ID tag. Place in the B1 IP address, the B1 port, the B1 port again. Find out what your B2 IP address is. Scroll down again. And if you have more grid spaces than just two by two, then you're gonna need to fill them in for every one of them. Put your IP address in for B2 here, port here, port here, and then save it. Now this file, you're going to want to upload to your host. On Nitrado, there's going to be an option on your dashboard that says upload server configuration. You're going to click that and you're, you're just going to upload this server grid two by two or whatever grid you're using. Then there's going to be another option on your Nitrado or your host that says upload map images. You're going to click that to upload map images. And then you're going to come to this folder, this server grid editor master export, and it's inside this server grid too. Okay. And you're just going to want to replace those files that are in there with these files. These are your new maps. That's it. Make sure that you don't change the name of any of these. They have to be labeled that. And then you're done. Save that. If you had any players or yourself that was on an island and you've now moved that island, you'll be floating and your base will be in the sky. So you're going to want to wipe everything or not move those islands. And that's it. Restart your game and you should be good to go with all your new islands. I hope this was helpful so you can get started, at least throw in some new islands. Uh, beyond that, you're going to have to look for help yourself because I'm not that great with these things. But I figured I would help you out because it was a pain in the ass for me. So enjoy your new year and have fun on the seas of Atlas. Thank you.